Dryad Slash Cockatrice Episode 15 of Delicious in Dungeon begins where we left off in Episode 14 with Laos and the others running into a dilemma while trying to reach the surface world. Suddenly, the ground erupts. Marcel informs the others that the dungeon's layout is shifting. She believes the dark elf they encountered previously is responsible for this and is trying to find them. Chichu climbs the wall to investigate and drops when he sees a creature soaring in the sky. Then, Chilchik spots numerous creatures in the area. Laos believes more creatures are popping up because the red dragon's been defeated. Laos tries to investigate but collapses. Sinchi believes Laos is out of steam because they haven't had a proper feast since they defeated the red dragon. Suddenly, Chilchik smells something sweet in the air. Laos asks Chilchik to lead him and Sinchi toward that scent. Chilchik and Sinchi encounter a plant-like humanoid monster called a dryad flower. Chilchik interrupts their seductive session, causing one of the dryad flowers to flock toward him. Although Laos murders one of the flowers, it sprays its body fluid into Sinchi's face. We receive intel about the dryad flower's pollen from the narrator. Ultimately, this pollen resulted in Laos and Sinchi catching hay fever. While Sinchi and Laos suffer from hay fever, Chilchik grabs Sinchi. Chilchik spots Kinsuk, Laos's sword, nearby. He asks Sinchi to use Kinsuk to slice the dried flower behind him, resulting in the second dried flower's demise. Then, Sinchi and Chilchik battle the third dried flower. Despite their difficult predicament, Chilchik assists Sinchi in defeating the final dried flower. Elsewhere, Marcel's upset that her staff's broken and plans to mend and infuse it before it withers. Chilchik, Sinchi, and Laos regroup with Marcel. The three inform Marcel about what happened between them and the dryad flowers. Afterward, Laos finds some dryad fruits in the area. As for Sinchi, he examines one of the dryad flowers' remains and says this one didn't release any pollen. Laos explains that this one is likely female. Chilchik finds more fruit and Laos tells him those are buds, essentially baby dried flowers. After gathering more ingredients, Senchi whips up a dish for everyone to indulge in. While eating, Chilchik ponders if they can escape the dungeon due to how drastic their situation is. Marcel ensures Chilchik that they'll be able to escape. Chilchik questions the dungeon's layout changes and Laos believes they should investigate the area's rumblings. Then, Marcel confronts Laos and says she wants to teach him magic. She feels it'd be great for him to learn some form of healing and defense magic. Marcel feels she can't protect them all from the Dark Elf, so it'd be useful to have a person around who can wield this type of magic. While Laos admits he's learned some magic from Fallon, Marcel knows that Fallon's known magic system is different from the one she uses. Nonetheless, she notes how her and Fallon's magic system's fundamentals are similar, so she'll catch on quickly. While Marcel and Laos discuss magic, Sinchi gives Chilchik the birds and the bees due to dried flowers encounter piquing Chilchik's curiosity. After that, we cut away to Laos and the others in a shelter. In it, Marcel guides Laos, helping him learn how to use healing magic on one of her ears. After the process, Marcel learns that Laos partially healed her ear and praises him. Laos says he couldn't have done it without Marcel's guidance. Marcel tasks Laos with healing Senshi's chest wounds. Senshi lies on the table while Marcel temporarily fixes her staff with dry twigs. Laos touches Senshi's chest and the two feel awkward over the exchange. Marcel tells Laos he shouldn't let little things like that bother him. However, Chilchik argues against Marcel's claim. Chilchik feels Laos should improve his social skills and his ability to read people rather than learn magic. Marcel retaliates, stating that Chilchik should learn magic. After Chilchik fires back, Marcel briefs Chilchik and the others on the ancient magic she's studying. After that, another rumbling occurs. Laos wants to investigate but collapses. Marcel says Laos collapsed because he's experiencing mana sickness. 
Therefore, Marcel tells Laos to stay behind and let her, Chilchik, and Sinchi investigate the rumblings. While investigating, the platform Chilchik, Marcel, and Sinchi acts up. The trio leaps off it and encounters a deadly cockatrice monster. Fortunately, the three seek refuge inside a building. While Sinchi holds the front door, he suggests Marcel defeat the cockatrice similarly to how Laos defeated the basilisk in a previous episode. Marcel leaves the building from a secret area to avoid the cockatrice's detection. Behind a wall, she ponders how Laos frightened the basilisk and contemplates how the scenario would go if she pulled it off. Unfortunately, Marcel feels this strategy won't work. Nonetheless, Marcel jumps in front of the cockatrice, startling it with a battle cry and explosive spell. Sinchi and Chilchik leave the building from the front door. Sinchi strikes the cockatrice's snake component with his axe. This proves ineffective, allowing the snake to bite Marcel's arm. Marcel uses an explosive spell to decapitate the snake. Sinchi uses the opportunity to defeat the rooster component of the cockatrice with his axe. Chilchik wraps Marcel's wound up and the three return to Laos. Laos gives Marcel knowledge on what position she should be in before she turns to stone. This upsets Marcel because she thought Laos would teach her a cure. Nevertheless, Marcel turns to stone. Laos, Chilchik, and Sinchi discuss ways to free Marcel of her petrified state. Despite giving three options, Laos considers looking through Marcel's book for a healing spell. He hopes to discover one that can reverse Marcel's petrified status. As for Chilchik, he says they should keep the other ones in mind. He asks Laos how long it'd take for Marcel to recover. Sinchi conjures a way to prevent Marcel from shattering into pieces. After that, we receive a montage of our heroes exploring the dungeon. Also, Laos tries searching for a spell through the magic book. Fortunately, Laos finds a spell that returns Marcel to normal. The episode closes with Marcel and the others eating a cockatrice-centric dish. Underscore 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 The Episode Review After last week's Cabrocentric Affair, this week's episode touches upon Laos and his team's return to the surface endeavor. Unfortunately, our heroes won't be having a simple and easy ascension after all. From the dungeon's layout shifts to the multiple monsters they encounter, Laos and his team must rely on strategies old and new if they hope to return to the haven above. This is a great decision on the story writer's part. These obstacles breathe life into the dungeon, making matters feel perplexing and dangerous. Moreover, it's nice seeing Laos and Marcel rely on each other's strengths. From Laos learning magic to Marcel using Laos's hunter tactics on the cockatrice, fans will admire the development Marcel and Laos received this week. If only more could have been done with Chilchik's character, though. On the other hand, this anime's visuals and animation quality remain fluid and extravagant. Viewers will love seeing Marcel and the others' authentic reactions to this dungeon's trials. Whether they appear upset or happy, fans can't help but embrace how genuine this anime's cast feels. In addition to receiving more enjoyable world-building elements, this was another great chapter of Delicious in Dungeon. Hopefully, our heroes will find a way to escape this part of the dungeon.